Welcome back to Lifestyle and Net Worth. In this video, we're going to take a look at what your life is like if you're a member of a very famous American glam metal band. What would your life look like if you were the lead singer of the band Poison, Brett Michaels? Where would you live and what car would you drive? Well, in this video, we're going to be finding out how these icons live their lives. It was strange to me, all of it, but I, in a strange way, I accepted it. I was like, okay, they're giving me shot after shot. You're doing blood tests every, probably every hour. Brett Michaels is the front man and lead vocalist of the band. He has a net worth of $14 million. Michaels starred in the reality television dating competition series, Rock of Love with Brett Michaels, the first season of which premiered in July, 2007. Michaels and his band visited troops at Al-Assad Air Base in October of 2007, while on a tour of U.S. bases in Iraq in support of Armed Forces Entertainment. In June 2014, while on a national tour date in Omaha, Nebraska, Michaels became aware of a series of tornadoes that hit the Nebraska town of Pilger. He and his band and crew went to Pilger to see the damage and assist with cleanup. When his tour came to the area again in August of 2014, he hosted a fundraising performance in Norfolk, Nebraska to help tornado victims in the area. Brett Michaels has done extensive work for Operation Homefront, a charity that provides emergency financial and other assistance to the families of service members and wounded warriors. Michaels has a line of pet clothing and accessories called Pets Rock sold at PetSmart. During the filming of Brett Michaels' Life As I Know It, Brett proposed to his longtime partner, Christy Lynn Gibson. During their relationship, they had two children together. They announced their separation in 2012. Brett Michaels was also romantically involved with Pamela Anderson, and he was the other party in Anderson's infamous sex tape. His attorney fought to obtain a federal jurisdiction preventing the distribution of the tape, although it was released to the internet and later on DVD. In 2006, Michaels acquired a property in Scottsdale, Arizona for $2.205 million. The 6,300-square-foot home sits on a five-acre compound. In 2014, Brett purchased property in Calabasas, California for $3.05 million. A year later, in 2015, he tried to flip the property for $3.649 million, and in 2016, he managed to sell it for just over $3.4 million. The 6,797-square-foot house features an extensive outdoor area with a pool and spa. Not long after putting his Calabasas property up for sale, Michael splurged on a $3.49 million property in Westlake Village, California. This property provides the rock star with tons of space, with 6,683 square feet of living space and 2.6 acres of land. The gated, luxurious house features high ceilings, stone archways, and a temperature-cooled wine cellar. Brett listed this home for sale in September 2020 for $4.5 million. Brett Michaels drives a Bentley Continental GT. I, I always try to give my sister a little credit because it was true. But I went to a camp, and at the camp, there was this band playing old standards. Ricky Rocket is the drummer of the band. He has a net worth of $13 million. In 2008, though, things went from okay to terrible for the Poison drummer. He was falsely accused of rape in Mississippi and arrested. However, Rocket was completely exonerated when it became clear he was not even in the state of Mississippi when the crime was alleged to have taken place. The explanation is generally considered to be that someone had imitated Rocket and committed the crime. One of Ricky's main interests is martial arts. Apart from this, he's also interested in motorcycles. Rocket holds a black belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu under trainer Renato Magno and trains at Street Sports Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu located in Santa Monica, California. Rocket is a vegan. In October 2008, Rocket married longtime girlfriend Melanie Martel. On July 14, 2009, they had their first child, Jude Aaron Rocket. 
On March 2nd, 2013, Ricky and Melanie had their second child, a daughter named Lucy Sky. Both children are named after Beatles songs, Hey Jude and Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds. They separated in July 2015, and their divorce became final in June 2017. In 2016, Ricky Rocket sold his home in Castaic for $1.05 million. Records show Rocket bought the house five years ago for $665,000. Built in 2001, the two-story traditional style home has travertine floors, vaulted ceilings, and an updated kitchen. Five bedrooms and 3.75 bathrooms are within nearly 3,800 square feet of space, as well as fireplaces in the family room and master suite. Ricky Rocket drives a Mercedes-Benz and a sedan. Uh, my first one I got was a BB-3000, and it sounded identical to a baby grand piano. And they just manufacture the best instruments in the world. Bobby Dahl is the bassist of the band. Bobby Dahl has a net worth of $13 million. Dahl had ambitions of studying law, but ultimately turned to music instead. He began playing guitar, but switched to bass at the age of 15. During a Poison show in Atlanta on August 25, 2006, Dahl and Brett Michaels had to be separated by members of the road crew and the rest of the band after the two came to blows right before the encore, with Michaels throwing his mic at Dahl and Dahl retaliating by slamming his bass into Michaels, injuring his knee. Bobby Dahl was married to Michelle Dahl from 1989 to 2000. The couple divorced in 2000. Dahl has two children, Zachary Brandon and Zoe Brienne. Bobby Dahl owns a house in Melbourne, Florida and lives there currently. Not much information is known about other real estate Bobby might own. Bobby Dahl drives an Audi Q1 and a BMW X5. They play all day, come home for dinner, and uh, there wasn't that, that feeling of danger, even though, even though you would think Brooklyn was like that, but the, I, there was no sense of that. C.C. DeVille was the lead guitarist and backing vocalist of the band. C.C. DeVille has a net worth of $13 million. At the age of 18, DeVille formed the band Lace in New York. It was during this time that he started writing the song Talk Dirty to Me, which would later become a hit when it was released off Poison's first album. In 2001, DeVille became the inspiration for rock and roll comic CC Banana, a twisted homage to DeVille. CC Banana speaks in a cartoonish parody of DeVille's voice and wears a large yellow banana costume. CC Banana has interviewed numerous rock stars and made many TV appearances. DeVille loves to read, and photography is also a passion and hobby of his. In March 2007, DeVille and his girlfriend, Shannon Malone, became parents with the birth of Valen DeVille Johansson. C.C. DeVille lives in Brooklyn, New York with his family in his home. Not much information about his other real estate holdings is known. C.C. DeVille drives a Mercedes-Benz and an Audi A6. A Range Rover. <laughs>